When 48-year-old Rosa Pazos had heavy menstrual bleeding and began feeling tired a lot, she went to her doctor to find out the cause. After blood work indicated an anemia and an MRI showed fibroids and a suspicious mass behind her uterus, Ms. Pazos went to Dr. Ricardo Estape, a gynecologic surgeon and the medical director of Baptist Health Center for Robotic Surgery, to determine her treatment options. Dr. Estape looked at the PET scan and looked at all the, the results, the blood work, you know, all that stuff that had been done, and then they determined that the best way to go was to do the hysterectomy because once they went in there, they would determine whether it was a cyst and it could be removed. And if it wasn't a cyst, then they would take care of my fibroid situation, which is basically the reason why this whole ordeal started. Since single incision robotic hysterectomy was approved by the FDA in February 2013, Dr. Estape suggested this approach for Ms. Pazos. Well, Rosa was a good candidate for the surgery because her uterus was relatively small. She was a thin patient, uh, did not have a cancer, did not have a malignancy. And I think trying to do a single site surgery for her would have gotten her back on her feet sooner, would have let her, given her much less pain uh, after the surgery, like any of the minimally invasive procedures. And I think for her, she'd be happy with a much smaller scar so that she can get back to her bikini sooner than later. Instead of a long incision across the bikini line or three small incisions on the abdomen, one two and a half centimeter incision is made in the belly button. There, Dr. Estape and his surgical team insert the arms of the robot, which he controls from a console inside the operating room. Because robotic surgery reduces the number of incisions and trauma to the body, patients typically recover faster. Most patients will be home within 24 hours, some as early as six hours after the surgery. Within five to seven days, you're back to driving, doing most of normal activities. The only real limitations you're going to have for four to six weeks is going to be no heavy lifting of any kind. For Ms. Pazos, who admits she's not one to sit around, the recovery time was great. Just the first week, just moving a lot slower, just consciously, I think it's conscientiously that like I can't go fast, you know, then I would stop. And then other than just the swelling, you know, just the discomfort of the air inside, I was fine. And without incisions on her abdomen, Ms. Pazos doesn't worry about covering up her scar barely visible after three weeks. I was ecstatic, again, about the fact that he, they were able to do it with one and um, that my, you know, looking process is not going to be anything major or anything that I'm, you know, it's going to look really bad. Bethany Rundell, Baptist Health, South Florida News.